With 470 beds, Owens House is our second largest residence hall. Most of the students living there are concentrating in cybersecurity, entrepreneurship, and STEM age. It represents perhaps our most comprehensive effort to link living and learning. Both wings have a study area on every floor. In addition, the building has a cybersecurity lab, a faculty office, two classrooms, group study rooms, and a learning commons. My predecessor, Jim Cook, once described Dr. Owens as the Nelson Mandela of Hampton Roads. The Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. asked him to move to Atlanta, but Dr. Owens said his work was needed here. He played a key role in desegregating Portsmouth's libraries, parks, golf courses, and yes, even its cemeteries. And he was also Old Dominion's first African-American rector. This building features panels highlighting Dr. Owens' contributions, and I hope it inspires future generations to follow his path. We are pleased to have you here as we celebrate the dedication of the Hugo A. Owens House. This new residence hall opened for students in January this year, but as you will soon see, it's so much more than beds, space, and classrooms. One of Dr. Owens' missions in life was to help people help themselves. I know firsthand he was a kind and caring man who led by his actions in the way he lived his life. That, in essence, is also the mission of Old Dominion University. I have watched ODU evolve and mature, and what a wonderful university this is. What a tremendous asset this is, not only to Hampton Roads, uh, but to also to all of Virginia. And Dr. Owens was not afraid of a fight. He stood up for justice, even at a time when it was risky. Dr. Owens understood that without struggle, there is no progress. It's important that we make sure that our young people understand who leaders were and are in our communities and the impact that they've made. And so I'm certainly grateful, uh, uh, President Broderick, for this particular situation of naming such a wonderful complex after Dr. Owens. Seeing a need, finding a creative solution, doing what is necessary to make it happen was the hallmark of Dad's life. If Dad were here, he would be at Owen's house on move-in day to greet the students and encourage them to have the best year they can have. If he were here, he would tell you to let your light shine. If he were here, he would be thrilled and amazed. I think this building being named for Dr. Owens is just one more example of the importance Old Dominion places on diversity, equity, and inclusion. Most humbly, I would like to thank the Owens family for allowing us to honor Dr. Owens by sharing his legacy with our residential students for years to come. Not only does ODU campus make me feel safe and comfortable, but it empowers me to be and explore my authentic self. Living on campus is an experience I will never forget, and I'm excited for new and returning students to take advantage of the opportunity as I did. I have full confidence that the students who are fortunate to live in this building will not only share in the excitement of my on-campus experience, but will also have unique opportunities to cultivate relationships with like-minded individuals and be amongst an academically enriching environment which will lead to their success here at Old Dominion.